and I'm here with Brian from Knock Loose. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Right, where was your first gig and how did it feel to have? Uh, our first show ever? Yeah. Uh, our first show ever was in a small venue in our hometown in uh, Louisville, Kentucky called uh, Keswick's Democratic Club. And it was cool, it was back in uh, 2013. Um, it was a lot of fun, it was just a bunch of local bands, a uh, really good turnout, and a uh, different lineup, uh, different songs, we just were eager to play, yeah, it was sick. How did you feel? Um, felt good, uh, this is my, this isn't my first band, so uh, it felt good to be playing again. Um, what do you draw inspiration for your songs and lyrics? Um, I try to draw inspiration from any and everything. Um, all different kinds of music, from uh, hip hop to hardcore to metal, like just anything really. Um, books, movies. Um, recently, I've been trying to read a lot more, like uh, short stories and stuff. So I would say that. Okay, and the lyrical stuff. Uh, probably the same. Just uh, short stories, movies, and short films. Just like. Uh, I'm the kind of person who, like, I'll watch something or I'll read something and it'll just, like, kind of get my mind to, like, trail off. And uh, I'll just start thinking. I think way too far into everything, so I'll just I'll try to make something from it. But I can't really uh, write lyrics without the music. I have to have uh, the boundaries of music there. So um, I'll just I'll jot down ideas, and then when we have uh, full songs, I'll kind of tackle it as each individual song. Uh, what's your best or worst memory on tour? Um, one of my favorite memories would be uh, the first time we played Chain Reaction in California uh, because it's just such a legendary venue and it's just, uh, I don't know, grow up watching videos from that place and uh, our first time playing there was just so, um, so awesome. The the show was incredible. Or uh, the first show that we ever sold out on our own uh, in Arizona at a place called The Underground. It was just really cool to be able to say that we sold it out. It wasn't some like massive venue, but it was a very cool show and it was very like uh, intimate and it was very crazy. That was a lot of fun. Um, Worst? I don't know. Um, one time we went on tour and uh, day two our head gasket blew mm -hmm. in our van and they said it was going to be like $3,000 to fix and uh, we obviously didn't have $3,000 so we kind of just ignored it and did the whole tour with a blown head gasket. Um, we, we spent a lot of money on antifreeze. Uh, the van overheated a lot. We didn't go over 50 miles per hour the whole tour. And uh, we, we did it. I mean, we kind of we refused to drop a tour. Uh, so we kind of just suffered through it. And we had like less than a month to get a new van because we were supposed to go to California for the first time, um, which is across the country. So we had to like make sure that we got a van that was reliable enough to take us there so we kind of just suffered through that tour of like breaking down every 10 miles and uh, but we did it and it was miserable well at least you did it so well, when you guys started a band uh what did you expect did you expect to be where you are now uh not at all um when we started the band i said that we were not going to tour i didn't really want to i was in college at the time so I just wanted to kind of play some shows every now and then and just really write music. Like I, I love writing music and being a part of the writing process. So, um, but things slowly but surely started to build around our hometown. Uh, things started to build on the internet and um, we got our first tour offer and I had a lot of fun. And then once we got our own van, we just didn't really stop touring. Uh, we haven't really stopped since, so uh, definitely didn't expect it to be like in Austria. I never thought that that would happen. I never thought that my band would. I never thought that I would be taken overseas because of the music that we play. But um, yeah, I didn't really think that it would go anywhere.
Um, there was a poll at the event for today's show, and it was what bands are you happy to see the most, and you got the most votes. So how does that make you feel? That's sick. I didn't know that, actually. Um, that's really cool. Like, uh, coming over here, we didn't know what to expect. Uh, we were just hoping to get our name out. And uh, last night was the first night, and it was incredible in Prague. And we had a, a lot of people there that knew about us already. Um, so it went way better than expected. And I didn't know that about tonight, so that's sick. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Do you ha expect anything from tonight? Or? Um, I, I don't know what to expect, really. But I'm excited because the room is really small. It's a really cool room. Yeah, the stage is small. Uh, the room is small, so I think that it has the potential to be really cool. Do you have any future plans for the band? Um, just keep touring. Um, we've got a tour coming up in January in Australia. Um, so it's cool that we get to do Europe and then Australia a month later. Uh, but we're just going to do what we always do and just stay busy and then eventually start writing a new record and just pumping out more music. We're not going to slow down. That's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to local scene, to the local local scene, um, what do you think is necessary for it to be a strong local scene? Uh, something that I think is cool that our hometown has is we have a very mixed scene. Like we'll have hardcore shows uh, that have like metal bands on it and metal shows that have hardcore bands on it, and uh, you get both the crowds to come out. Um, hardcore kids and metal kids and it just gives it the opportunity for all the shows to be uh, way more packed and I think that that's uh, I think that's very beneficial for the scene because you're introducing new kids to hardcore you're introducing new kids to metal and um, it just gives the opportunity for like if you have a friends band and they're on tour and they're passing through Kentucky you throw different bands on it to get different kids to come out and maybe they'll see this band and like them and then come back the next time so I think that that's something that I, I definitely like seeing that when we go on tour and we play other cities and it's a mixed bill um, Knock Loose uh, is kind of a mixed bill in itself we're, we're not really a one specific sound we kind of just are all over the place so um, I definitely like seeing that within the shows that we play if you had to explain to someone what Knock Loose is, what would you, how would you describe it? I'd basically just say heavy. Um, we we stopped focusing on a label for it a long time ago because um, we saw a bunch of people like talking about it or debating about it, like whether we were a hardcore band or a metalcore band. But like, um, yeah, it's just it's not really important at all to us. Uh, we're just heavy. That's been the only consistent goal for our music writing is to just write heavy music. So uh, that's what we're always going to do. And we like everything from hardcore to metalcore and everything in between. So um, we'll always draw um, influences from both sides of the spectrum. We just didn't don't really focus on what we want to label ourselves as. I'm talking, I'm talking about you, you, and you, and you!